Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before and today we have another hedgehog video. Somehow the month of May has become the month of hedgehog content. I have another hedgehog video coming out later this weekend and potentially more next week. I don't know, apparently May is hedgehog month. I don't know how that happened, but uh, it has. If you guys have any hedgehog specific uh, content you want this month before I move on to next month, I don't know if next month has a theme because this was an accidental theme. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any other topics you want me to uh, discuss in depth, please feel free to let me know. Um, but today we are going to be discussing bedding or substrate for hedgehogs. Now in this video I'm not going to be telling you what you need to be using. I will tell you some of the things you can't use and then there are a whole bunch of options of what you can use and it's up to you to decide what you want to use. Okay? Okay. So let's start off with things you cannot use. You can't use cedar bedding. This is toxic for most small animals but it is indeed toxic for hedgehogs, so none of that. Uh, it can cause severe respiratory infections. It's it's not a good substrate for, I think, anything. I don't really know why it's on the market. If you know an animal that it is safe for, leave it down in the comments so I know for future reference, but like, as far as I'm concerned, cedar bedding is trash and it shouldn't be used for any animals, particularly small animals. My dog's getting a drink. The next thing you can't use is anything that molds incredibly easy, like corn cob bedding or corn cob litter. Uh, this type of bedding holds moisture and molds so fast. Hedgehogs are also prone to eating it, um, but even hedgehogs that don't eat it, mold becomes a serious issue very quickly. I have seen people whose cages mold within a week. So that's not even extent an extended period of time. It's not like they left their cage too long. It literally molded within the week, so none of that. You also don't want to be using any clumping cat litters, regardless of the type, whether it be clay, crystal, or otherwise. Anything that clumps is a no-go. You really don't want it to get stuck around their feet, particularly uh, because they go to the bathroom where they walk and run and you really, really, really don't want to be picking clumps of cat litter off of your hedgehog's feet that can cause them damage, that can cause them to self-mutilate. It's a no-go. Not to mention a lot of those clumping cat litters have chemicals in them that aren't even good for cats, let alone hedgehogs. While of course there are a lot of different clumping cat litters, none of them are safe, so it doesn't matter if they're crystal or clay or corn or any of that, you cannot use a clumping cat litter with a hedgehog. You can't use anything that is scented. Hedgehogs do have sensitive respiratory systems. Make sure I say systems this time because in another hedgehog care video I filmed this month I said they had sensitive respiratory infections which makes no sense. They have sensitive respiratory systems which means they can get respiratory infections from highly scented products or scented products at all. There are a lot of scented cat litters, so you have to be careful if you're using a litter. And uh, there are a decent amount of paper-based beddings that are scented, which I don't understand. I think All Living Things and KT have scented beddings, which is crazy to me because scented beddings aren't good for anything. You also wanna be careful with beddings that have excess dust or excess baking soda for similar reasons. These again are because of their respiratory systems. You don't want to cause them respiratory infections from the dust. Okay, with all of the things you should not use aside, let's move on to what you can use. Now, one of my personal favorites for hedgehogs is fleece. I used it for years, particularly for my male hedgehogs. I was a big fan. My male hedgehogs would masturbate a fair bit. That is a common issue with hedgehogs. I've mentioned it in other videos before and people are typically surprised. This is something that a lot of animals do. It's not something that's super surprising for any mammal in particular to do. And what happens when males do that is uh, when they pull their penis back into their penile sheath, they can pull bedding back into it with them, which can be incredibly problematic. Uh, a lot of people just 
keep an eye on it. I was not comfortable with the idea of just keeping an eye on it for my boys, so they were both on fleece. I have a female now who is very, very messy, but she doesn't burrow. So I have her on bedding currently uh, because of the mess, but I think I might switch her to fleece because if she's not going to burrow, um, which is the main benefit of bedding, then there's no point in me producing that much waste with litters and things when I already have fleece because I used it for years that she can use. So anyway, if you want a more in-depth pros and cons of fleece specifically, I will uh, have it linked in the cards or in the description. I will have it linked somewhere for you because I did do a video all about the pros and cons of fleece and whether or not it's right for you. So moving on past fleece, there are a whole bunch of different particulate beddings you can use. Uh, they tend to fall into, I'd say like three categories. That was three, yes. Wood, paper, pellet. So first in that category is wood. You can use wood shavings. Aspen is the preferred bedding. Uh, pine, there is a lot of debate on whether you can use kiln dried or not. If you're not comfortable using kiln dried, you absolutely should just stick with Aspen. Aspen is tried and true. It's also pretty affordable for a lot of people and uh, hedgehogs seem to burrow in it fairly easily. Uh, for some reason in the U.S. in particular, Aspen tends to have a higher risk of mites, uh, so be aware of that. Maybe freeze your beddings before you use them. Moving on to paper, there are a ton of different options there from things like Carefresh, which you have to be careful because for some reason hedgehogs try and eat Carefresh more often than other paper beddings. I don't really understand why they do that. I don't know if it's something they smell in it or what, but keep an eye on it if you're using Carefresh. Um, but yeah, there's things like Carefresh KT Clean and Cozy, which is what I'm using currently. That's one of my favorite beddings. Um, or, I don't know, All Living Things has a brand. There's all kinds of box. So, I mean, th the brands are endless. Those are just the brands I know of in the U.S. I mean, you can get paper-based beddings elsewhere for incredibly cheap. I know in the UK they sell like Fitch and I don't know if it's still super cheap or not but it used to be crazy cheap. Point being as long as it's unscented and it doesn't have a ton of baking soda in it there are endless options when it comes to paper-based beddings. You can you do pretty colors and all kinds of stuff. I will say white is the easiest to spot clean. Um, so if you're looking to not do like full clean outs every time you need to clean, I love using white bedding because I can literally see the dirty areas and scoop those out. So like I said, paper based beddings choices, pretty endless there. Um, you can even do cage themes if that's your jam. And then the third category is kind of a debated one, and that is pelleted litters, both paper and wood-based. Um, these are really popular among breeders. Now, I am not a fan of pelleted litters all over the cage. I don't think they seem very comfortable. Now, I am not a hedgehog, and I couldn't tell you what they feel on them. I'm, I'm just speculating. Um, but they don't seem like the most comfortable option. Hedgehogs can't burrow in them either. And I, at least for the wood stove ones, when they get wet, they get quite dusty. So I feel like if you're going to be using a bedding, you're better off with paper or shavings over pelleted. I know a lot of people like the pelleted more because uh, it's fairly cheap. But for me, if you're going to be using a bedding, you should at least be giving them the option to burrow. Um, I, I think you should be giving them the option to burrow regardless of what you use, including with fleece, but that's another, that's another topic for another time. But anyway, I, I think pelleted litters are better in litter trays. I really, really love using pellets underneath a wheel. I think they make for great litters. I'm not a huge fan of them all over the cage. Some people are. If that's your jam, I'm not going to say no as long as they're safe. Um, but that is the, the sort of third category, and I think 
the cons more so outweigh the pros for me with that one because the biggest con of fleece in my opinion is that they can't burrow so I'm not going to switch to a substrate that they can't burrow in either because I could just use fleece. Anyway, I think that's everything. If I missed something, please feel free to leave it down in the comments for all of our people here who are learning about hedgehogs and want some more information. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out my hedgehog care playlist because there are so many things that I have covered, not only recently, but over the years of having this channel that are really helpful to new owners and maybe old owners. I don't know. So, Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all in my next video, hopefully. Bye! I'm a lonely heart, heart, feline. I think what's mine, and I'll leave behind.